Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening! Yeah, you see how I was using the uh, Pegasus boots with the sword there? That's how you're supposed to defeat those guys. Um, by the way, to destroy those crystals, I forgot to mention in the last episode, you have to have the Pegasus boots and the sword equipped at the same time. You can't just dash into them. That alone won't work. But if you defeat all these bats here, you get a key and a piece of power! Now, I'm actually going to pass up on the piece of power this time. For boss time! Well, where is he? Maybe he's invisible, like the first game? No, no he's not. He's actually hiding on the ceiling there. Holy crap! Get down here! Let's take this guy out. What you gotta do is... Huh. He's taking damage, but he's not dying. What you have to do is split him up like that, and then split him like that. There we go. And then take him out. Watch it, he's gonna try and land on top of you just like that. Well, got one. One down, one to go. Come on. Hey, get back here. Ha! Got him, just as he landed on top of me. And by the way, that key that I got in the last room, it's extra. Um, I think they give it to you, like, in case, like, at that four-way intersection, you went right, and then you have an extra key to get through the other three doors. But for defeating this boss, we get the li Sea Lily's Bell. As opposed to Lance's Bell. Ah, that's a weird-sounding instrument, but... I suppose technically it is an instrument, so... And that's why they call it the Slime Key, by the way, because the boss of that dungeon was a slime. We gotta find a waterfall. Hmm. We saw one earlier. Oh, it's owl time again. Hey, how's it going? Well, don't you know? You're the one who's been stalking me on this mission. Okay, so we gotta get the instruments and play them in front of his egg. And... That'll wake him up, I guess. But I, I was just told to go to the waterfall. Well, where am I supposed to go? The waterfall or the desert? That's kind of an extreme difference. Well, we gotta go to the desert first. I'll just tell you. So, okay. Well, let's keep the uh, Pegasus boots out because I have another use for them first. Let's head on over here. Dash into this tree for a secret seashell. Number 14. All right. I wonder if Olira has anything interesting to say. Hey, get back here! Hey, hey, hey! There we go. Gotcha. Oh, I need the rubies. Rupees. Sorry. Hey, how's it going, old man? The Yarn of Desert. Yeah, we were just told about that. Southeast of the island. The Angler Key. Oh, yeah! Remember we saw the Angler Key Hall up north? <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that's obvious enough. Thanks. Thanks, game. Okay, yeah, so we gotta go to the Yarna Desert, get the Angler Key, then head back up north, and use that, that keyhole that I found earlier. But before I... Er, actually, you know what? There's one other thing I want to... There's a couple other things I want to do over here. I was gonna go back to the village, but there's one other thing I forgot about. We wanna go in this cave here. Yeah, yeah, those uh, crystal blocks there. We can get through them now. Ha, come on, get through them. Yes. I wanted to get through them before that guy hit me. What are those things called anyway? I always thought they were called bubbles or anti-fairies or something. I don't know. But anyway, in this chest, well, we get 50 rubies. Better than a uh, guardian acorn. Let's see, where is that? Ha! There it is. I knew it. This game's full of secrets. I hope that blows it up. There we go. Open a secret passage, and you get a heart piece. Number five. All right, got all those, so let's uh, get out of here without laying a bomb. And for some reason, I can't press A, B, select, start very easily in this. I, I don't know why. I usually don't have this much trouble. Oh, well. At least it'll prevent me from doing it that easily in Oracle of Ages. Oh, you'll learn about that soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Oh, hey, it's Taryn. How's it going, man? Is that a nice stick you have there? Or are you just happy to see me? I couldn't help myself, viewers. Sure, let's lend Taryn our stick. So he can play with the bees. 
the name is Demaz. But anyway, for giving him our stick, we get the honeycomb. Hey, why is my stick stickier than before? Nah, no, we need the honeycomb in order to continue the trading side quest there. Okay, so now that's everything we can do there, so let's head on back to the village, now that we have some items there. There's a few things I want to show off there, and yes, I will be going to the bonus dungeon soon enough, viewers, soon enough. But let's check out that dream shrine, now that we have the uh, Pegasus boots. Maybe it'll help me with my dreams. Let's take a break here. Why not? What's the worst that could possibly happen? Freddy Krueger? No. Nah. No. Nah, just kidding. Huh. Can't seem to damage those guys. If only there were a way I could damage them. With my new Pegasus boots. Yeah, that's the uh, preferred method of choice for dealing with these guys. You could also kill them with a freaking Guardian Acorn! No. Nah. No. Nah, I hate them so much. But, oh well. Uh, you can kill them with a whirling blade, like that, if you so choose. I prefer the Pegasus boots. But the real reason I have them is for that crystal there, because, well, I can't get through that without them. I could have gotten this chest earlier, too, the 100 rupees, but I wanted to do go through this place all in one go. So, let's dash through this one, climb up to the upper left platform, and in this chest we get an Ocarina of Time? No. No, it's just an ordinary ocarina. Well, let's see how well Link can play on that ocarina. Let's get out of here first. Wake up! There we go. You suck, Link. Well, didn't you learn how to play a flute in the last game? Or the game before that? Or the game before that? You've had a flute in every game. Come on. Well, technically, I think it was called a recorder in the first game, but yeah. Where did Papple go? He's lost in the woods. I thought he said he was going to get lost in the hills. I thought he does get lost in the hills. Huh. Well, we'll keep an eye out for him soon enough, viewers. Let's uh, try and impress Marin with our mad ocarina skills. I try impressing the ladies with my flute, because I used to play flute back in the day, but it doesn't do work too well. I love that duet that they play there. When the harmony is playing at the same time, that gives me goosebumps. I'll be honest with you, viewers. And for playing our ocarina with Marin, we learn the Ballad of the Windfish. It's a very important song uh, for this game, so, well, you don't have to remember it, but just keep that in mind. You don't have to play it, like, ever until you really need to, so... Song of Awakening. Link's Awakening? Let's find out. What do you mean the windfish wakes up? He hasn't even been born yet. He's still in an egg. Well, anyway. Okay. So, now I think I've done everything that I can do here before heading to the desert, but since I am playing the Game Boy Color version, there's a bonus dungeon that we can go to. I could have gone there after the second dungeon, but I want to do it the right way by looking at this book first, which you're supposed to have to have read before going in there. So, New World of Color, Under the Gravestones. Hmm. Well, let's head on over to the graveyard and find a way in there to receive a piece of power! Or color! Eh, it just doesn't seem to work. Piece of power seems to work, but piece of color power? Eh, just doesn't quite do it for me. Okay, well, let's head on over there then. Uh, the graveyard, if you remember, was to the northeast. So, let's head on over there, then. Yeah, I like the uh, Pegasus Seeds in the next game better. Pegasus Boots got a little bit of uh, delay there, but, eh, whatever. Better than a Guardian Acorn, that's for sure. That's going to be my new catchphrase. No more better than a sharp stick in the eye. It's better than a Guardian Acorn now. And I missed a Ruby. Oh, well. Rupee. 
It's gonna take me forever to get used to that if I do any more Zelda games. But first things first, we gotta take out all these... Well, I don't know if you have to, but... It's a good idea to take out all these ghosts first. Wow, these guys take a lot of hits. I don't know if I'll be able to kill them all in time. Come on, die. Die, you... Oh, God. All these ghosts. Die! Ha! Got him. Okay. Ooh, we get an arrow. Will that do anything? No. No, it doesn't add arrows to my inventory. So, what we're supposed to do is push the tombstones, just like we were told in the book, and then we can check out the color dungeon next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.